So here in this question, we're told that relative to a fixed origin, the points P, Q and R have position vectors P, Q and R respectively. Now we're given two key pieces of information. We're told that P, Q and R lie on a straight line and we're told that Q lies one third of the way from P to R. So what we're asked to do here, we're asked to show that the position vector Q is equal to one over three lots of R plus two P. And this question is for three marks. So we can see we have our straight line here. So what we're gonna to do to start is we're gonna annotate this, which is gonna help us understand the question and help us make a plan of what to do to solve this question. So we know that P, Q and R lie in a straight line. So we can first put in P and R. So we know that this is gonna be P here. So that's P. And then if we let this point in the line here be R. So that's P and R. And then we're told that Q lies one third of the way from P to R. So we have P, we have R, and we now can have a look and see where Q lies. So we know it lies one third of the way from P to R. So that'll be about here. So we'll just annotate that in here, this diagram isn't to scale, but it's good to have us have an understanding of what's going on in the question. So that's point Q there. And what we're going to do is we can say that the vector QR, so we're right down here, the vector QR, so like this, what's it going to be equal to? Well, it is going to be equal to two thirds of the vector PR, because we know that QR is to here, and then this lies one third of the way along from P. So therefore, QR is equal to two thirds of the vector PR. And then our knowledge of position vectors, we can say that this is going to be equal to, so the vector QR, how do we work that out? It is going to be the position vector R minus the position vector Q. And that's going to be equal to two thirds of the vector PR. And that in terms of position vectors is going to be the position vector R minus the position vector P. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this and solve for the position vector Q as this is what the question asks us to do. So what we'll do is we'll multiply our brackets on the right hand side and we'll therefore have that R minus Q is going to be equal to two thirds of R. Then we're going to subtract two thirds of P. So remember, we want to rearrange for Q, so we'll just highlight this here, and how are we going to do this? So we want to basically add Q to both sides to make it positive, and then we'll subtract two-thirds R and add on two-thirds of P to the other side. So this leaves us with the fact that Q is going to be equal to, so our R stays on that side, and then we're going to subtract two-thirds of the position vector R, and then we add on two-thirds of the position vector P. So then tidying this up, what can we do? So we have two R terms here. So we'll have one minus two over three, which is equal to one over three. So we have one over three lots of R, and then we're gonna add on two-thirds of P. And looking back at the question, we take out a common factor of a third, and we see that we're nearly there. And if we take out a common factor of a third here, that is gonna leave us with the required answer. So therefore, we have that Q is going to be equal to, so we have 1 over 3, and then we know that's going to leave us with R. And then to get from 1 over 3 to 2 over 3, we multiply by 2. So therefore, we add on 2 lots of the position vector P. And then we look back at the question, what were we aiming for? So we're aiming for Q is equal to 1 over 3, R plus 2P. Does that match what we have? Yes, it does. So we write in Q. So we write in as required. So this question, like I said, was worth three marks. We receive our first mark for attempting the relevant vector by subtracting either way around. So we receive our first mark at this point here, and we then receive our second mark for having it in the form where we expand the brackets and begin to rearrange. And we then receive our third and final mark for concluding with the correct answer. And that was that Q was equal to one third lots of R plus two P. And that was the answer which we required.